Hiya! Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different, which is my Suffolk accent and my Suffolk dialogue. Now, I feel it's probably an idea that I should do these videos because if I'm going to keep making these videos then maybe some of the things that I say that are particularly Suffolk that just slip out and I don't realise maybe they need a little bit explaining or I don't know a bit like if you don't understand a word then you can go to the dictionary well it's not quite the same with the Suffolk accent so I thought I'd do a series on explaining how I speak and talk and the words that I use the Suffolk dialect itself is very comprehensive and different to different areas of the country and also the Suffolk accent and dialect differs between the different parts of this county and it can it can change from town to town to village it, even within just a matter of a few miles there are different variants of the way that we speak. I know there's some of you out there thinking oh, I didn't know she'd got a Suffolk accent but it's true I am Suffolk born and bred and it is something which I have carried with me my entire life. Some people their accents change and mine hasn't and when I was brought up there was no internet or there wasn't very many TV channels stuff like that so I wasn't influenced anything in that way so my only influences on how to talk and my speech and vocabulary and that it was all the influence of my family that I lived with and I've been discussing this with my some of my family members actually um, it was me, my mum and my brother and we found out that there's some things that I say that my brother doesn't say and vice versa and also with my mum there's some things which she say that I don't and vice versa again but it seems that my, my Suffolk is more like my father's which is really really super Suffolk so this will explain why I may say certain words that you have not heard of or I say things in a certain way which you might not have heard of and even if you're Suffolk yourself there might be terms and things that I use or I pronounce things in a certain way that you yourself don't because you come from a different area to me but the fact that it actually changes within families themselves I find that really quite fascinating so this is why I'm doing the video, so that it, I suppose it not only documents the Suffolk accent, which is sadly dying out, I think, but also explains why I talk like I do, and it will explain to you who's watching some of the words that I use, or how I, I, I speak in general, really. So I think for this one, now that I have just done an explanation of why I'm doing this and also where my Suffolk accent comes from. I think for today I will just mention the first one which I think is the funniest one because it is so lazy. Uh, the Suffolk language is quite lazy anyway. We tend to shorten things and don't pronounce things quite as we should. Uh, yes we can talk in the Queen's English and all talk very correctly and very distinctly or we have a Suffolk accent and we tend to be a little bit slower and a little bit lazy with some of our words so my first one is the Suffolk version of I don't know which it doesn't it doesn't even mean that we open our mouths when we talk when we say this because 
Suffolk people tend to go, uh -huh, which is, I don't know. So for example, do you know where the remote control is? Uh -huh. Or do you know what you're going to do with your day today? Are you doing anything nice? Uh -huh. And we're not even speaking out loud as such. It's just like a, a little form of grunts, I suppose. <laughs> and the good thing is, it is a whole sentence that you can speak while you are eating or while you are drinking a cup of tea. You don't even have to open your mouth. So if somebody asks you a question and you don't have the answer to it, you can just say, mm -hmm. and there you go. That is a full sentence without even uttering a single word. And I think that is the most bizarre, funny and lazy way of talking in Suffolk that I have ever heard. But as, as I do more vlogs, I'll explain some of the words that we use and the shortening of words and things like that. But as an introduction, maybe, maybe I'll just leave that there. You can think about that one for a little while. Or maybe you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Thanks for watching. And <laughs> I just realised how ridiculous this series is going to be. Because, oh, honestly, true Suffolk, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, anyway, yes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon and I hope you're having a fab day and bye for now. Bye. Bye.